G'day, I'm Doug from Shaving Down Under. It's Friday and let's shave. So today we're going to go with an Australian uh, shaving soap, the Kamoi brand. It's the only one they make, but they do sell a lot of other accessories like um, razors, um, shaving mugs, etc., brushes and stands, things like that. But this is their only soap. And it's a coconut oil shave soap and um, it comes in a little puck. So I'll be dropping in any the old spice today and to have a shave with. Oh, well, that's where it is out of the packet. It's just pretty straightforward. Got the little indentation to help with making a leather, so it's well thought out. I'm also going to be using the synthetic from Billy Goat Brushworks. And there's their little emblem inside. So I'm just going with a, this has got a quite a stiff backbone to the, to the brush. So I think it'll work well with the harder soap. And of course, we are still on the chic challenge. And just, there we go. So I've used the, the Schick blade in here twice this week. I, on Wednesday, I had a revisit this one again. Uh, it's really nice soap. And um, yeah, let's do it. So there we go, I've got a big lather on it. So this is a non-tallow. So we'll see if this uh, pays plays part of the course like the other non-tallow soaps. It lathered up quite well in here. Um, interesting, the scent is quite mild compared to just when the puck was dry and just smelly. You could really uh, smell the coconut, but just once it's been mixed up, you get the lather, there's uh, not much scent at all. So the initial lather is good and uh, once you, the brush got the lather going in the in the mug it um, froths up quite well. We'll just see how much the staying power is on the face like we've seen from some of these other ones that are non-tallow. Some are a bit better than others. Okay, let's see what happens. So I've got an interesting word of caution about this. Well, not really this soap. It involves this soap, but in products that you buy on eBay. And an idea which might help you all I save some decent coin, which I discovered today. Uh, actually in um, researching the Kamoi soap. So as you can see here, it's starting to, the lather is starting to dispense So it's more of a soapy lather than a, a, a lather lather, if that makes any sense to you.
So this is a bit thicker now. We'll see how that rolls. So spring has definitely sprung here in South Australia. Nice warm day. I think it's supposed to be up around 28, 29. It's not overcast though, but um, very warm. Yeah, it's good. We've had a pretty cold winter here in Adelaide this year. Got the house to myself. As the missus has shot off to her sister's uh, place, small business down the southeast of the state, mm -hmm. helping her get it ready. It's a, a nursery, plant nursery and cafe. So that'll be opening up October 1st. I think we've gone down there. I'm gonna try and do a shave down there early in the morning in amongst the plants and uh, the country sunrise should be interesting about this razor is it cleans out washes out really well under the tap so sometimes some razors get a bit cloggy a bit hard to wash out but no it's good so as you can see uh the soap disappeared pretty quick so pretty standard for this type of soap so i'm just going to um put the soap on in sections here on my face it just seems pointless putting it all over Let's just do this side. That's just so disappointing is probably the wrong word, but you've got a nice lather here and, and then it just dissolves on you. So, so far, with the new Chic Razor, it's a good razor. Well, I don't know if they'll be selling them. I don't know if any of you guys have seen them out there for sale individually or if they just come with a package deal. But, yes, yeah, standard uh, modern-day razor. It does the job. It's uh, very sharp and um, yeah, you can't um, give it any bad words. But will it stand up? Against the vintage. And that's what I did during the week. I was able to get a 
box of um, Chrono blades that are from maybe the 60s that apparently are really, really good. So, um, yeah, once they land in Australia, probably take it three to four weeks, maybe a month's time. Um, I'll show you them. And, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to them. See, this has just disappeared. Blow up doll. Not bad. So I got the house for, to myself after the weekend. So the Crows play the last game tomorrow afternoon. So I'm going to be able to sit down and just sit back and watch, probably watch them lose. But still, yeah, something to do. Probably uh, hit up the old Battlefield 5. I play a bit of Battlefield. It's probably my favourite video game. And do a bit of shopping and I don't know, go to a cafe or two, have a coffee, something to eat, late breakfast, that sort of thing. Yes, yeah, so that's my plan. Pretty pretty basic. Probably not a very exciting sort of person. So I'll just give you a basic um, rundown of the ingredients here. And it's obviously made in Australia. Uh, it's got sodium palmate and sodium palm kernelate, uh, glycerin, coconut oil and fragrance. 
although the fragrance is hardly there. Interesting. And um, palm acid and palm kernel acid. So there are the basics ingredients. There's a few other big um, scientific type words there that I wasn't going to sit here and struggle and try and get out and bore you with. So it's just a standard soap really, isn't it? So just got a little bit of claret there. So this is what I found out when I was researching the show today before I have started the video. So I bought it on eBay from a company, Australian company up um, in northern New South Wales, I think they said they were from. And so I thought, right, I'll um, punch Kamoi into the search engine and see if there's an actual um, Kamoi company. And it just how it happens there is. And I had a look at all their products. And I got paid, let's just say, $17 for this soap on eBay. Well, I could have bought it for just over $2 direct from the company, from Kamoi. So there's a lesson for me and for all of us. If you're looking around on eBay for, let's say, soaps, for example, and you find some, it looks good. Actually go um, search for the uh, actual company online and see if they've got an actual direct um, website because it might save you, in, in my case, if I'd done this 15 bucks. So that's a fair saving in anyone's book. So well, that's um, a late breakfast in a cafe almost, isn't it? wrap this up let's talk about the blade first you'll see inside there blades good standard everyday modern blade don't know if they'll be selling these separately if they do they you know they're cool to get if they're at the right price um the razor itself really have no fault with it it's um fairly mild sort of razor not overtly aggressive, which um, pretty stock standard for something that's going to be sold in supermarkets and just in general sort of shopping areas. Uh, let's quickly wrap up the soap. Look, the soap was just a standard non-tallo soap. Um, Just an everyday soap, didn't stand out. I thought the scent was a little bit disappointing. The puck, when it was dry and and in the plastic, you, you could really smell the coconut. It was a really nice, strong smell. And I thought, well, that will be great. But once it was in the mug and lathering it up, that, that scent was uh, almost disappeared. It was very mild. Um, if you're buying it like I did at 17 bucks Australian, which that's about f maybe 14 USD, maybe a bit less, just, uh, there's better soaps. But if you go to the Kamoi site, and they've got a lot of other shaving uh, stuff there, especially uh, razors and uh, mugs and stands and gift sets and things like that, and it's on special for like $2.20 Australian, well, that's a good buy. You know, that's um, really good value for money for a non-tallow soap. And if you just want a non-tallow soap, go to the Kamoi site. I'll leave a link. Grab it. It's um, for the money. You're not going to get anything cheaper. So if you buy it from the site itself, from the Kamoi itself, it's a five-star um, soap uh, for a non-tallow soap. If you put it up against... Your tallow soaps, you're probably looking at it two and a half stars. So, but 
in its own uh, category, its own handicap group. It's a five star. And today I'm just going to roll off with the George from Gentleman's Nod, their post-shave post serum. Something I haven't used for a while, so probably don't need about that much. It's probably already too much. But this stuff, top notch um, company, really good quality product. So, that's it. It's Friday. Get the weekend going. I've had a real lazy day so far today. Slept in. Now I'm just going to make my way to a cafe. Have a late, very late lunch. Very late lunch or late breakfast, I should say. And um, I'll be back next Monday. We'll be using the same razor, but vintage chic blade in them to compare. Okay. Take care. Ciao.